says it was uh, General Rodriguez, I think, and who went on to later become the chief of army staff. And he said, and he always described, he was like, he was a big man, you know, he was a really big man. And, and he says, that I, you know, me, and I was this solid. So he said, I just realized there was no way to beat the man, but to butt him. And I was like, what? He said, I would just headbutt him. That was the only way to get him down. Of course, I lost the bout. And I think he fouled, is why he lost the bout. But... Um, yeah, yeah, and that's when he got the name Bull. Bull Kumar was, nothing stopped the man. Nothing was ever impossible. But when you're training, you realize there are a few people who are special. This man was special. asked him, I said, Pala, um, do you ever regret not having reached the summit of Everest? And he said to me, he said, Bitter, if I had summited Everest, I would have never gone on to do the other things I did. He became like a trophy, you know. They would take him for parties, you know, any place, you know, he's gone to Everest and all that. But his peers never liked him. Because peers, there's a jealousy. His juniors used to say, yeah, tu faltu kaam karta. You are you're not a soldier. He used to hate that. He ultimately ended up doing two one of the two biggest military operations, you know, one Siachin and in the sixties, Barahuti. It's very tasty. You don't need to tell the boys. I cook them well. <laughs> we'll pass it off as dears. <laughs> and he was a Brahmin. He didn't eat this stuff. So, and but he knew we had to eat something. So they did it. <laughs> and everyone relished it. Ah, what tasty meat and all that. <laughs> He was the commandant at Hoss, High Altitude Warfare School in Gulma. 
he saw a map and uh, that's what completely riled him because the map showed almost all of eastern karakoram range including the siachen glacier uh, that lay in uh, pakistan territory and this was a map that was made by the us and uh, in the hands of a german explorer who was his friend and on the way they found cigarette butts they found um, japanese uh, film rolls and they found um, um quite a lot of things that obviously gave them the 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 hints that there was more than just uh, the pakistani army that was on on that glacier <music> So in eighty one, he had put in his papers, and he was leaving. When it came through, he had six months to retire, and it came through. He said, "I have started it. I will only do it." He wasn't a young man when that expedition took place, and he didn't have four toes, and um, which he had lost to frostbite many years back. In fact, he had been graded down to a I think they call it the sea level which means that he cannot go higher than 4000 meters. And that's when he took his soldiers and mapped the entire glacier like thousands of miles of it and that's when they climbed up South Orokangri and all of those high peaks over there and planted the India flag. ultimately when he mapped it and that mapping actually gave so much confidence to indira gandhi to launch megdoot McGregor's medal and the McGregor's medal is something that is that was given to him in 2010 uh and that medal is given to an indian um with by all three chiefs of uh, army navy and air force it's something that is given to him by all the three forces and that medal was his official whether anyone likes to admit it or not his official recognition of his reconnaissance of siachen for him that was the high point mm-hmm.